So a few weeks ago, I had to update one of our marketing sites. It was a simple one line change, but we have a traditional build pipeline set up using Jekyll and all sorts of fancy cloud things to make that happen as you do these days. And that whole process ended up taking almost 20 minutes. Now, there are some peculiar reasons for why it took exactly that long. We had a large GitHub repo and it had already had some media files in there, whatever. The point being that the whole process was just unbearably long. And it reminded me that why should this, any of this take minutes? This should take seconds. If I want to update one of our marketing sites, it should be a five second change, a 10 second change. It used to be just that. When I started working with the internet back in the day, back in the 90s, we would use FTP and you would drag a file from your personal desktop onto the server and voila, it would instantly be live and that was pretty great. Well, unless you happen to overwrite someone else's stuff, that wasn't so great, which is uh, the reason we invented version control and started using it wildly. But you know what? It should be possible to combine the ergonomics and the speed of that late 90s development experience and updating of your website with modern safety tools like um, Git to keep you out of trouble. So. I thought, you know what, this is a problem we can solve. We can dig back into the archives, we can find some Stone Age technology, and I can make this simple, at least for us again. And that's exactly what I did. So I built a small tool called Skiff that sits on top of Kamal. Kamal is our deployment tool really intended for web applications. Skiff takes that Kamal underpinning and then uses it for a static marketing site deployment scenario where we will use Nginx together with this wonderful Stone Age technology of server-side includes. Server-side includes is essentially a way to just add a header and a footer and perhaps reference a single variable here and there, but do nothing fancy, nothing dynamic, just what you need to deal with the marketing site. And I thought, you know what? That is a great fit for what we're trying to do here. It can run live. It does not require any build face at all. We can be hashtag no build when it comes to these HTML pages. And since we're already half tag no build on JavaScript and CSS, this is a perfect combination. So that's what I built over the past week and I wanted to share it. We have released this tool, Kamal.skiff as a gem. You can install it and I will now show you how it works. So in this example, I've already installed Skiff. We have Skiff available on the command line. I'm gonna do Skiff new, the name of our site. We're just gonna call this a marketing site. And it generates this basic scaffold. As you can see here, there's a config directory with information about how deploys work. That is straight out of Kamal. It is Kamal deploy YAML files. And then we have the server config, which is how we set up Nginx. And you can, of course, use all the wonderful features of Nginx, including rewrites and whatever else have you and then you have the public directory in the public directory you will find a basic setup of a footer and header includes you can of course add your own there will be a 404 page you can fill in and then an index page uh, to deal with there's also this uh, up.html which we just use for Kamal's uh, health check to ensure that the server is available we have one known endpoint to look at that and then there's the assets directories which are empty in the beginning but you can fill them in with anything else you want so let's uh, open this this up into an editor. So let's open this up into an editor. So let's open all this up into an editor. We'll jump into the directory and Look at it here. There is a default readme file to just explain how things are going, but we are going to jump straight into running the local development server. This runs using Docker, running that same Nginx file. It's going to start um, the server on port 4000, and we can have a look here and say, Oi, 
because ROI is what we have inside of the file here. You'll see this file uses the header include, which we can open up here and see that there's an echo of a title. That is basically what you have available in SSI. It's not a whole lot. You can set variables, you can output variables, you can include files. But what I've found, what we found is that that is actually enough. And it's a wonderful constraint to not be sucked into overly dynamic websites or data files or whatever else have you. This is just HTML. HTML is actually pretty great and you can write HTML straight as go. Now, of course, if I change this and I reload, this is just serving static files. There's absolutely nothing magic or even all that interesting about it. The interesting part comes here with um, the deployment setup. So if we jump over and take a look at deploy.yaml here, it is going to infer some of these variables. Um, that's just from my user on the local platform. I'm going to change that to the user I actually use on the Docker Hub registry. We're just going to use this marketing name as the server, and then we're going to have to deploy it somewhere. I'm going to pick on Hetzner again here. I've already set up a server for it. Let's copy over this IP address. It is just the smallest thing that I could find. And then we need a skiff registry password, and you're going to fill that in into your n file. You're going to put that here. And then the second thing you have to do to make the automatic updating that I'm going to show you a second work is you have to get a token from GitHub to, to run it. There's a description here about how to grab that. You can jump onto the GitHub site to do it or any other GitHub repository that you use. So I'm going to fill this in and we're going to jump into making a change to the site and deploying it to the live production setup. Okay, I have set up my tokens in the end file. You can also use the Kamal feature of uh, end.erb and pull these things in live, but uh, have a look at that if that interests you. I'm going to check in this new site into my GitHub repository. That's what we're gonna use to host this on. We're just gonna do the normal setup here. Now we can jump straight to skiff deploy, which just aggregates the underlying Kamal commands. This is all just built on top of Kamal, all the sophisticated logic for deploying this and turning the Docker file that's in here into an image and pushing it and pulling it down with zero downtime. It is all living in Kamal. Um, the process here as uh, goes is Kamal setup. So it will set up a brand new host that you've created on your cloud VM if you use that or if you use your own local setup. And here, as you can see, Kamal is just running through. It's compiling that Docker image to push it up into the cloud. It's a very simple Docker image. It's built on top of the official Nginx image. It just does a little bit of pre-configuration and installs a Git inside of it such that we can do Git pull when we do our updates. That is really the trick, if you will, to Skiff. Skiff sets this up where it is just a, a pre-baking for Nginx, and then it will run this serve command where with the git URL that we set up, it will pull that every 10 seconds when we are live, which means that you can make any changes to your new static site and simply check those changes into uh, git and the remote server will automatically pull the updates, which also means that you can use GitHub or another Git-based uh, web UI to make your changes to your marketing site. Anyone else in your organization can make those changes and they will automatically get deployed to the site that is live. Now that is really the part that simplifies this greatly. When we're making a new change, we're not actually building a whole new Docker image because the Docker image that has been built once is fine. We will just push that and we will continuously update it with this very simple polling pull. We're just relying on the fact that Git already knows how to push these updates and um, here we go, we are live. All right, so let's hop and take a look at this site that we got going here and see if we have Ahoy in the cloud. We do have Ahoy. We actually don't need to translate it, but thank you very much, Google, for the offer. And now let's uh, 
let's first of all see that this is running. So you can do skiff logs. It's going to, again, just call Kamal underneath. And you can see here, we have the health check that is checking on slash up. And then you have this um, polling of the latest updates every 10 seconds straight off the branch. Okay, now let's make a change to this site and see that it's actually going to be picked up on the server. We're gonna do Ahoy Matey here. We're gonna check that in, change. And then we're going to push that change. And then we're going to see that Skiff pulls it down. Let's see if we will catch it before it's already up to date. It was already up to date. So let's reload here. Ahoy matey. And this is essentially the essence of it. You can make any changes to your site. You will check those in and immediately they will get pulled down within a maximum of 10 seconds. And that goes for any change you add, whether you add a new file or you remove a file. You can, of course, also make changes to the Nginx configuration itself that lives here in server. If you make any of your changes to this, for example, at a new rewrite, um, you will have to check it in and then you call skiff restart. So you can see all the skiff commands here. We have flush if you change any of the includes because otherwise the e tags might be out of date. You can follow the logs, you can do refresh and you can restart the Nginx server when the config has been updated. And then of course, underneath all of this is just come out. So you have access to the full uh, bevy of Kamal features. We even have it set up such that you can use a staging server as well if you want to use that with your static site when you test changes. Um, but that's basically it. It is a very thin wrapper on top of Kamal that I just built because I was really annoyed by changes to our marketing types taking so long to deploy. We should be able to do this in just seconds. And now we have a tool that basically pre-bakes any new static site that we make and we will update all our sites to running it. We're already running this in production on two sites. We have our small once.com mini site and then our actually quite a lot larger 37signals.com site that we converted to run on Skiff with SSI from a Jekyll site. There's about a hundred pages in here. Um, yeah, kick in the ass, kick in the face. These are good things to do to your processes if they're really annoying you. You should be programming in anger when um, something is bothering you. So we like to make things when things are bothering us, when they're annoying us, and we made Skiff, and you can use it if you like. It lives in GitHub uh, Kamal dash Skiff, and you can see the changes here. You can see how you install it. It can also run off Docker if you don't even have Ruby on your machine. This is it. Hope you enjoy.